Hi everyone! So today I thought I would go for something something a bit well different. I thought I would make a black base coat of paint and then I will put my funnel in the middle, put a little bit of white at the bottom and then blue and orange fluorescent. I'm putting the white to try and get the colors, um, the fluorescent colors to contrast a lot with the black and the white also to contrast with the black. But I'm thinking if I put the white under the fluorescent colors, the fluorescent colors are really going to pop more because uh, as they dry transparent, if I put them directly on black paint, they will dry, dry a little bit dull. But if I put a coat of white paint in between the black and the fluorescent colors, then maybe I'll have uh, some really cool flashy fluorescent colors on a black base. And I think that would look cool. The other idea I have is I'm probably not going to use all of my fluorescent paints because there's a lot. I really want just a little blotch of colors in the middle and then I'm going to blow it around with a straw or two, no, just one. And have nice cool wispy edges. So, um, for that I mixed my paints the usual way. I have two high floor products here, the fluorescents, and for that I put one part high floor acrylic to ten part medium, and then I add just a splash of water uh, just to say to help them uh, float up, sell up, if I'm gonna get cells at all, I'm not sure. And I have two heavy body paints, the black and the white. The black I mixed a little bit different, um, about 40% paint, to 60% medium and then 25% water. Well, more like 20. I, I didn't put as much water. I want the black to be dense and heavy. So if my first and colors get underneath, I'll get cells. And the white, I mix the usual way. 50-50 paint medium and then 25% water. And well, maybe actually full 30% water. I, I did put a lot of water. It's a little bit more liquid than usual. Um, I thought maybe if I can get white cells, could be nice too. Not sure if I'm going to get cells at all. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to manage to get the colors under the black, but I'm thinking some of it will get under it. So, that's about it. <laughs> I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. All right. So I have my black paint here, and I'm going to pour that on my canvas. And spread it around. All right, so I have my base coat of black paint. I have my funnel. I have some white paint. That's going to be enough, and pretty much a middle, yeah. Let's lift this. Well, that kind of worked out like I wanted to. Look at those cells.
And now I'm just going to blow on the edges. Keep the cells in the middle and just have some wispy nice edges. So let's do this. And here we have it. So I'll give you a time lapse in case it changes a little more. Meanwhile, I'll go get my hair dryer to pop the bubbles because I have quite a bit. So, yep. All right, so you gotta love it when uh, things go exactly as you wanted to, uh, exactly as you predicted, kind of. Um, I'm thinking the white is under the colors. We can see some white in the uh, wispy edges. So I'm thinking that the colors are going to dry pretty uh, bright and vibrant and I can't wait to see that. Also, love, um, I, I really like the wispy edges, like there's so much details in it, and it looks like a star. Like, it could be our sun, but it could be also a star in the galaxy, and I think, or even a galaxy, it's, hmm. I'm guessing that's going to be the name, <laughs> the title of this canvas, Galaxy. And yeah, love these cells too, and uh, the black from here as well. Really nice detail all around, and I, I couldn't be happier, really. It's really lovely, a lovely painting, and I'm loving this. I just hope that I'm completely leveled, that it stays like that. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a little bit sad, but at the same time I'm thinking it couldn't be all that bad. But yeah, lovely painting, really happy with it. Love the outer circle and the inner circle. Like the inner circle outlined with orange and blue, but like kind of hard to explain, but I hope you, you get it. <laughs> Can't wait to see the contrast of this uh, once it's dry. Can't wait to see the contrast uh, under the black light. And I think this painting is really, really cool. And I'm super happy because everything worked as I anticipated it. Uh, not that often that happens, but I'm guessing I'm getting a little bit more used <laughs> after uh, two years of fluid painting. I know how the paints are going to react uh, if I mix them a little bit differently, if I mix them a little bit more liquid or a bit more thick, like the black in this case, I mixed it a little bit thicker and the white was a little bit more liquid and as you can see, the white didn't sell up because I think the density is really close, but the fluorescent colors did, uh, they managed to get under the black and the white. Uh, once I lifted the funnel and I'm pretty happy about that, pretty happy about uh, the whole thing, how it all worked out. And we're back and I'm a happy painter! <laughs> so yeah, um, can't wait to see how this will dry. I think it's going to uh, dry really bright, really nice and I, I sure hope so. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking too that it may keep on spreading and reach the edges. I hope not. I hope it dries before that. <laughs> but um, I want to keep my wispy edges uh, kind of uh, spirally going 
in that direction. I love them. I think they give a lot of movement to this painting, otherwise it would be very static. Um, but this little spirally move motion there uh, with the straw uh, really makes it um, that much more vibrant, more it gives it a lot of movement and I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, um, can't wait for this to dry and that's about it for today. So let me know what you guys think about this. If you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!